In the Everglades, there's a way of life. It's a way of peace without stress or strife. There's a fellow there who protects these rights. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades. But they'll fight for rights and the homes they've made. Simple grassroots people of the Everglades. There's a natural danger and a man to face. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. Moving, ever moving, moving, ever moving through the Everglades. calling Lost River. Come in, please. Uh, Lost River calling Palm City. Palm City, over. Been waiting for you to report in, Link. The boss wants you to hightail it over to Gladestown, pronto. Shine Thomas went out to Jack's land in the serve a truancy notice and got himself shot. Seminoles pulled him in more dead than alive. I wish the school board had stayed out of this. I was hoping to solve that problem another way. Well, too late now. It's your job to go out and bring in the Jacks kids and pick up Luther on an assault charge. Now, hang on, Link. The boss is cutting in from Hurricane Key. This is Anderson, Link. Think I better send another man down with you. Well, I'd like to handle it alone if it's all right with you, Andy. I don't want to lose you, Link. You're the only man on the patrol that doesn't go nuts from isolation out there at Lost River Station. Andy. If you'd spent 11 months in solitary north of the Yalu, you wouldn't call it isolation. You'd call it a rest cure. Okay. Check Shine Thomas at the clinic, and then you're on your own. Good luck. Roger on that, Andy. Over and out. They're going to pollute Jack's Landing with this garbage. They got another guess. Luther, Jack, she gone swamp crazy or something. That bail's worth $10 easy. Now, I want my whole $10 worth. And then I'll take care of that book-reading lawman. Didn't mean to scare little children. I wanted to talk to Shine. Afraid it won't be much of a conversation. Doc got the shot out of him and we put him under sedation. He's out. Good thing Luther used the fine shot. Buckshot would have killed him dead. I thought the North Koreans were tough. I think you swampies down here have got them beat. Sometimes don't you wonder if the Glades was the right place to come for peace and quiet? Angie? On its peaceful days, it's like a front row seat for the creation of the world. Well, it's paradise, all right. If it weren't for the wildlife, not just our native gator hunters and moonshiners, 
runaway Cubans, maybe even a New York gangster on the lam. Only a Yankee be fool enough to try and enforce the law in the Everglades. Well, before I enforce it, I'm going to try to suggest it. To a die-hard squatter like Luther Jack? Well, I've got enough work to do around here without having to worry about a Yankee dreamer with an unmentionable name like Lincoln. Well, change it to Stonewall. Anything to please so lovely a flower of the old South. Man. Okay, okay. We'll can that syrup and sell it at the trading post. Oh, you got a button off in your shirt. If you wait a minute, I'll sew it on for you. Oh, thanks, Auntie. But where I'm going, you don't exactly have to be dressed fit to kill. Oh, Constable. When we went ashore at Dead Man's Key last night, my boat was stripped of nearly everything, from stern anchor to ship's bell. Here's a list. How soon do you think you might be able to... Well, I'll keep my eyes open, sir. But I hope you're not planning to wait around for these things. In this county, people consider themselves as outside the boundaries of the USA. Will you excuse me, sir? I have a date with one of those fellas right now. Hi, Josie. How's my best girl? No, <laughs> none of that. <laughs> I heard you's on your way to arrest Luther Jacks. Well, you heard right. You usually do. First, I have to get some equipment for my trip. A well-loaded pistol and a pole axe. Kind of equipment you need for Luther Jacks. Let's see, first I, first I need a couple of combs. Ladies' combs. One of them that pretty kind you wear in your hair. You know? Huh? Oh, I got some real nice ones, but... You ain't fixing to fight your way into Jack's Landing with a lady's comb. See, some of those candies there. Big bag full of them. Mm, two or three of these big blue balloons. Red ribbon. Nice. Oh, one of those flashlights. Gotta have one of those. And, uh, sneakers. Sneakers for a five-year-old girl. You mean for Sandy Doe? Oh, Luther won't let you get within a boat pole of them brats of here. Well, those kids of his have got to go to school. Even at Jack's Landing, that's the law. I'm sorry, Josie, but I've got to take this along, too. You know where it came from. He will shoot you dead. You know, I'll miss you, Mr. Link. Even if you're a Yankee from Illinois, I'll miss you as sure as I can spit. Thanks, Josie. But, uh... Don't hold the funeral till I get back. That'll be three dollars and ten cents. Memory? Seems like every time I pass by here, you've grown another inch. Yep. Uh, your pa home? Nope. You don't know where he is, do you? Nope. You better beat it, lawman! Pa ain't got no use for your kind! I know your pa won't use anything he can't make or grow or kill himself, so... You know, pa warned us if you've been any more books, we no, ain't no. supposed to... 
candy. Have you ever seen one of these funny balloons? Now watch. Now watch. <laughs> Sandy Doe, come here. And some sneakers for you, Sandy. So your feet won't get all cut on those oyster beds. <laughs> You've got such pretty hair. I thought maybe you'd like to comb it out. And then, you can put this one on for decoration. You better pack it all up and be off before Paul. Jim, Bob, I know we ain't supposed to like the law. We don't need it down here, Mr. Lee. It ain't right not to show a little hospitality, especially when your brother sees things. They're like something from another world. <laughs> Did you ever see a flashlight, Jim Bob? See, it goes on and off. Try it. Oh, and here's a primer. I know you can read a little now, memory. So maybe you can show Jim Bob what it says underneath those pictures. Don't be scared, boy. It won't bite you. You'd better get. Well, if you don't want any of these things, just throw them away. Now, get going. Bye. Give you that thing. <coughs> useless town gadget. I dog it, I'll teach you to take stuff from a sneaking busybody lawman. <laughs> and a lantern's good enough for us, too. Once they get their hooks in you with their store-bought notions, you can't live free no more. Give me that comb. I said, give me it. Mine? Your ma never put a comb to her hair in her whole life. Her whole life? She died a wore-out old woman at 37. I know where you're learning that sight. <laughs> That'll teach you to have truck with a slippery tongue ferner. Uh, Lost River calling Palm City. Palm City, over. Hello, Lake. You crazy coot. You missed the 12 o'clock radio check. Andy left word to tell you that John Thomas is a pretty popular fella in Gladestown, and they want to see some action. I'll get Jax. My way. Well, if you don't, Link, by first thing tomorrow morning, Andy says he'll send the whole squad down and bring Luther in his way. Link, if you don't pull this thing off, I'm afraid you'll be just another idealist out of a job. Well, you tell him thanks for the vote of confidence.
How long you been pussyfooting around here? You've got to come into town with me. Get out of here. This place is mine. I'm sorry. I got a warrant for you. We don't hold with them papers down here. You can't turn the clock back, Luther. Now, if you come in peacefully, we'll recommend leniency in the Shine Thomas shooting. I'll give him fair warning. Look at your kids. They need schooling, medical care. Times change, Luther. You can't change with them. You've got a losing fight on your hands. Losing fight, huh? <laughs> My great-granddaddy cleared this place when he ran away from a Yankee prison camp. It was a hundred years ago. It ain't nothing changed. Out here, a man can live the way the good Lord wanted him to. I seed my brother's kid a working in a drugstore and wiggling her hips like a dance hall girl and looking down on my brother Floyd because he's a mullet fisherman. And the more I see it, the more I want to keep things the way they are here. But your freedom doesn't give you the right to raise your kids like those pigs out there in the mud. And it doesn't give you the right to gun somebody down just because they don't think the same way you do. That's why I've got to take you in. I'm a warning you, Mr. Law. Anybody tries to move me away from here, get this in his belly. Now get. Put that away, Luther. I'm still hoping you'll come peacefully. <laughs> Burn me out the way the constable of you burned out my kin. Drop that knife. Good boy, Jim Bob. You're a jacks, all right. No, sir. You're a walking out. Maybe that'll teach you not to mess in other people's country. Oh, he ain't never gonna be able to find his way out that way. It ain't my worry. No, I mean the snakes and the gators will get it. <laughs> and if they don't, the skeeters and the red bugs will. Now get. <laughs> Keep it going. It's only 19 miles back. Slippery town ways, constable. I'm gonna kill you. Not for just starting this fire, but starting an even bigger fire inside of memory. Oh yeah, man, Luther. Maybe memory, but not the house. I wouldn't burn you out. Don't lie to me. You're gonna die for this. Wasn't hitting the little fire, Paul. Was me. No. You're lying to save him. But was me that lit the fire. One worth living in anyhow. Oh, I'm sick of living like a swamp rat. Ever since Ma died, it's just been nothing but you drinking and shooting up people. Well, I'm sick of it. You little Sandy Doe here needing medicine and Jim Bob just getting meat and ingrid and getting ready to gun people just like you. Paul, when I put that comb to my hair and looked at that little reading book and then put them little shoes on Sandy Doe, it just told me something plain. I'm through living filthy, stupid like the wild hogs. Times are changing, like Mr. Link says. And it's time we went in and learned to act like people. No, not me. I'll never. I'd rather die here. Oh, where are you going? I gotta save my axe and my gear so I can build this place back again like it's all it's been. No! 
it worse. Got some crazy ways of doing things, Link. They sure seem to work out in that crazy country. Come on, Jax. I guess you're waiting for me to say thank you to save my life. Don't need to thank me. But your kids pulled you out of that fire. Be a good girl, Memory, and take care of the young'uns. You know, you do look kind of pretty with that comb. You take care, Pa. We'll be all right. Nice work, Constable. I see you found my bell. I suppose they'll want me to go along and swear out a warrant against that chap. Oh, that won't be necessary, sir. See, he didn't really steal it. He just borrowed it. Just like he borrowed about a hundred years. Well, come on, kids. You follow the doc down to the clinic. I'll bed you down there till your kinfolk come. Thank you, ma'am. If you've got time, I'll sew that button on for you now. Oh, thanks, Anzi. I'll be back one of these nights when you've got time to concentrate on it. Ron Hayes. Next week in the Everglades, the vengeance seeker, a man out to wreck the town, driven by hurt, even to sacrifice the girl he loves. I'm supposed to remind you, you can be sent back to prison if you get into any trouble. Well, now, thanks for reminding me, Constable. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I sure will. I love you. Why do you think I've been waiting for you these past three years? The man you waited for is dead, Ada. There's no love left in me, Ada. Nothing but hate. Like hanging around the settlement making threats. Anyone who says I've been making threats is a liar. You're out for revenge against the whole town, aren't you? Uh, a thing like that would be a violation of parole, wouldn't it, Constable? Can you prove it? No. I don't want to have to. As of right now, stay away from the settlement, huh? You see him? No. Everglades, there's a way of life. It's a way of peace without stress or strife. There's a fellow there who protects these rights. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. But they'll fight for rights and the homes they've made. Simple grassroots people of the Everglades. There's a natural danger and a man to face. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. Move and ever moving through the Everglades. Move and ever moving through the Everglades. Move and ever moving, move and ever moving through the Everglades. <laughs> 